itching. The auto, I clap rapid. Sounds are on it. <laughs> Sound like I'm doing black magic. <laughs> <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I go by the name of Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. And salute to my guy Showtime SP. RiceGang.MyShopify.com. Log on. Now, let's get it started. JC versus Franchise uh, went down on the URL app. You know what I mean? They um, updated the app. They dropped the update. A um, lot of new features and things like that. Um, you know, they improved some of the things. They took away some things, added some things. I'm not really complaining, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the app quality and contents. I just want to see battles. At this point in time, I really feel like my idea or my thought of it is as long as the battles are dropping, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know people who would get into every single intricate detail. Well, why is this not this? Why is that not that? I, um, it's, it is whatever. As long as we get battles, quality ones that are dropping, cool. So JC vs. Franchise dropped. It is contagious, but I'm no Isley, so don't try me. I slip up, peel in a ratchet, and take the white girl. Then go Cosby, the can shatter. I like the battle. Um, I'll get into it. I'll drop some material. I'll talk about the rounds and who I think won. And, um, you know what I mean? It'll just go like that. But uh, let's talk about Franchise. So Franchise, to me, um, he's taking his own path. To the URL, obviously he's um, from Canada, Toronto. Uh, he makes his way to the URL. He first started battling. He had a couple battles on King of the Dot, and then he makes his way down. And you know he's been at it for about a couple years now. And I think this is really his year that he started really cracking the surface because I remember franchise he battled against a Badafi Green. That was on We Go Hard. Salute to that battle. Um, I remember he battled against Joe. And uh, he had a couple other battles, but he it, none of the battles really like pushed him to the stratosphere or got him a clear divide between him and his peers. But you know, he doubled back around. He started to get his style a little bit better, and he just really started blacking on people. He had a battle, I believe, with Mac Mel. I, he won that, and then um, most notably, he had his battle with Jack Boy Main. The Jack Boy Main performance was really his breakout performance. And salute to my guy, Franchise, you know what I mean? Um, he definitely, to me, is starting to really improve. Oh, he had the battle with Danny Myers, too. That was like one of the first battles with Danny Myers. Uh, stop. <coughs> Danny Myers. The third choke. He was on band versus Danny Myers. He choked um, in that joint. Danny Myers choked in that joint. And um, Franchise, to me, he started to show a little bit of, like, he has the gritty flow, but then he's high energy. The foe packing, the toes clapping, the toes clapping. Like, I like the what he was bringing, you know what I mean? It wasn't every single bar was, um, I'm on, soldier, I'm on, soldier. The gun go, sound like the lawnmower. He wasn't doing that. He does have that, you know, the chrome western, the, the gun sound like the cologne section. He be doing that, but he's found a way to start being more entertaining and starting to appeal to crowds. So, breakout performance versus Jack Boy Maine. Uh, fried him. Fried him. Oh. Oh. Fried him. And now he's battling against JC. Um, JC is obviously very talented wordsmith. Line for line for line. Ball for ball. He's one of the elite pens. Um, JC obviously has not been on them super big stages and doesn't have a lot of million view battles but at the same time he does get busy and he's going to usually give you a very good performance he and he's three he was three and old people all year he three old glue easy uh he three old mike on born legacy three old him he was just three old people all year long he was just jc was boom 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 body bags after every battle make sure that your homie find one and do not get in that yet it's only round one so Fran JC takes Franchise, and um, what I will say is Franchise was blacking in this, and it was a shorter battle. When you look at the whole battle time, it's less than 30 minutes, and that lets me know that the rounds was probably like two minutes, two thirties, or whatever the case may be. And um, what I will say is Franchise, to me, in this battle, he has some pretty good moments. In, in a shorter battle, he definitely has some good moments. He said, uh, we used to rob and kick doughs. The first time I popped locks, it wasn't for Chris Stokes. Now, obviously, you know, they're going to come, oh, people always going to come out at JC with the kick those, I mean, with the pop, you know, pop locks, Chris Stokes angles. Uh, entrance wound, exit wound. They got in and out quicker than Sue Surf, saying the bullets went in and out of them quicker than Sue Surf. Um, I air a dome shot. 
I mess up Jay like Sean Marion. You know, Sean Marion had to uh, up Jay like Sean Marion. Uh, and then he got into how he made it to America. I paid the toll. These niggas ain't giving me no easy pass. Saying that he paid the toll to get here. Nobody gave him an easy pass. And then he kind of ended his round with that uh, flow that, that Mike P used. The tool lift, the new grip. Put the SIG in J mouth like the blueprint. It, it kind of, you know what I'm saying? The first round was kind of mirrory to some flows that he would use. But I like his first round. It was pretty solid. Uh, JC comes out in his first round. You can't tame a killer. And if that's your plan, you're going to turn itch like Caitlyn Jenner. You're going to turn like Caitlyn Jenner. You know, we don't really be cursing much because they be trying to flag channels and all that. So you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Respect it or check it. So anyway, uh, every cross the border, this, every time you cross the border to spit, that's one less felon story to stick. Saying that every time you cross the border, we can't believe you fell in these stories because felons can't cross the border. I thought that was a really clever and nifty line. And I don't know too many people, I mean, you would get it, but when you think, think about it. Um, Ron Bullock gonna F up franchise like Pete Carroll. Another line that when you think about it, franchise messed up like Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll's on the two yard line instead of handing the ball off to Marshawn Lynch who was eating all night. He throws a pass. Malcolm Butler jumps in front of that pass and saves the Super Bowl and ultimately saves the season for the Patriots when they were on the goal line. You run the ball with Marshawn Lynch three times from the two-yard line? Marshawn Lynch was going to score a touchdown. I don't think nobody in the world thought he was going to get stopped. But anyway, uh, Franchise comes out in his second round. Uh, first round, kind of debatable. Second round, matter of fact, no, no, no. First round... I edged to JC. I like the way JC did his first round. Um, and he he had he had some fire material. I just liked his material through and through. Um, second round, franchise upped his energy. This is what I like. He upped his energy. Uh, you know, he said he said, I've been around the court more than misfit, saying, you know, the judge had to quit. Sh he was saying that I've been around the court more than misfit. I like that. Uh, um, the chrome blast, all they found was the body and the head like the old jazz no 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 the chrome blast all they found was the head no body like the old jazz like jazz you know jazz then got a little uh, jazz then grew up jazz then grew up let's just say it like that uh silence on it look like i'm doing black magic silence on it look like i'm doing black magic he came with one you know one of those lines was coming come on you know one of them lines coming franchise was pretty much winging all throughout his um second round uh, JC, he comes out saying, you know, they, the, the, the fake ones feel you. And he said, I can't put my finger on everything. The screen cracking. Because, you know, when you're screen cracking on your phone, you can't put your finger on it. My screen isn't cracking. But when your screen is cracking, you can't put your finger on it. It's going to cut the joint. I actually like that line. Uh, 12 banging license and registration. Uh, Pat, he was saying that you on my, he was saying battle rap is my property. You on my land. You know, there's been a lot of schemes about that in the past. But he said, pack before I unpack. Once I use this 30-day notice, you know, the 30-day notice, that was cool. Uh, the hand rise and knockoff franchise, Fago McDowell's. Like, you know, the Fago and McDonald's are both knockoff franchises. I did like that. But since you love coming to America, bring the semi with you. I like how JC just does the additions onto his lines. Like, he'll go from this and then he'll add on, bring the semi with you. That was fire. Uh, franchise third. How you criticize a religion from where you get your name from? He was talking about um, he was talking about JC's last battle for Saga. How Saga, you know, pretty much downplayed the Bible and talked about Christianity and things like that when he was battling Saga. And he said, you know, how you criticize the religion from where you got your name from? And he said, you know, you had that line about benefit you in the box. My homie got two bodies. He beneficial in the box. He flipped the beneficial, the benefit you to beneficial. I got lines too. I got I got it written down. Yeah, I got thirty pages of rhymes in here. Uh, the blade lift up. It's like your mom's fucking the coach. They wonder how I made the cut. The blade lift up. The, 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 you know how franchise start doing that. The blade lift up. It's like your mom fucking the coach. They wonder how I made the cut. That was fire. Uh, then franchise had one of his better moments of the whole round. It's either I push your wig to the side or it's young jock. Like he skipped the line. The gun pop. Dumb, dumb shots. The gun pop. It's either I push your wig to the side or it's Young Jock, he didn't even say that it's going down. I like the little pop. <laughs> franchise. And my didn't recycle. But anyway, 
Uh, it's the third round for JC, and um, he says it's crazy how y'all pray for JC, but still ain't safe with me. I like that. Uh, he said you had the time to make the bando flip and go kick. You know, you started talking about the soccer angle. You know, franchise they gonna come with the soccer angles against you. Uh, he's then he came with a fire line. Who? Whoever rallied for Checkers is this all the same franchise. Mm. Who he rallied to Checkers? Who he rallied to Checkers is all the same franchise. Rally and Checkers the same franchise. JC starts cooking. Uh, everybody was rocky in Philly. That's because they missed the step. Talking about everybody being rocky in Philly. You know, the ride of It was rocky in Philly. I don't know if they missed the step, had too much cheesecake, cheese steak, or whatever. But every they was all rocky in Philly. I guess they did miss a step. Um, overall, in this battle, man, it's it's a close, it's a closer battle than a lot of people probably gave it credit for. I watched it more than once before I recapped it. Franchise definitely did his thing and won for his career's sake because he showed up versus a veteran and did very well. This battle will not hurt his stock at all. Um, JC did good for what he does, and this battle really is a debatable battle, honestly. You could say Franchise took the second and third, and then you can say JC took the first and third. It's a preference. This, this one will literally go down as a preference battle, honestly. Like, I have no issues with any way that you call it, but I know y'all wanna know who I think got it. So what I'm gonna go with this, I'm going with Franchise 2-1 because JC is supposed to destroy a franchise now it, it, It's not a loss. That's like a big loss. I don't think he really lost I could easily watch this footage again and give the battle to JC But I feel like from rookies battling against somebody that's been in the game as long as a JC That's a good look for franchise a real good look JC did well It will easily be debated and there's gonna be a lot of people that got JC winning 2-1 I have no issues with that. Please understand I got no issues with that. But other than that, you already know what to do and what it does, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, that app battle was definitely pretty cool. I um I liked it. Franchise brought his A game in a shorter battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, Franchise, the one thing I will say about him is uh he's gotta continue to he's got to continue to push that pen. Uh, he's got to continue to work, to have that stage performance like he when he gets on them big stages He got to do what he did versus Jack on them big stages. Obviously, it's a small room battle and um, it wasn't a big crowd But he had a couple little moments in there that would have hit that young jock line That that young jock line to me was me seeing him starting to advance and grow a little bit And that's kind of what had me edged like JC's third round was cool, too He had to rally the checkers line, but JC his pen been at this level. It been there. I wanted to see something different from Franchise. I saw something a little different, and I liked what I saw. But other than that, man, you already know what doing what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. It's going down, young jock.